I'm not here to defend the West uh, or the United States. Uh, although many of my friends say I'm too moderate in my views in terms of attacking or criticizing the West. But because I take a rather different view. Because as a Muslim, we have to put our house in order. Uh, look at the Muslim organizations before we, we deal with the governments. Um, the small minority of Muslims are rarely united. Uh, they, although in the Quran, you know, the, the, the verse read uh, is a clear injunction of the Quran. It's not just an advice, it's a clear injunction that you have to be united and remain united uh, for positive work. A united Muslim voice uh, to promote peace and justice and order, to engage with the other non Muslims, to show lita'arafu uh, intolerance. Uh, but we don't have that because uh, the division and the divide is so pronounced and glaring. At the uh, level of uh, politics and governance, we have uh, Muslim countries, Muslim countries, Muslim governments um, in the most pathetic of conditions. Uh, the lack of freedom and respect for human dignity is right. I oppose the attempt by the Australian authorities to introduce legislation that uh, would uh, render the entire ideals of democracy and freedom uh, compromised because uh, you can arrest based on more, more, a mere suspicion, you can detain without trial, you can uh, detain uh, prisoners for unlimited uh, period. Uh, in the United Kingdom, there has been discussions in the House of Commons regarding the possibility of uh, ignoring the right of habeas corpus, the right of people to appear in court and defend themselves, which to my mind is something which is close, which is uh, fundamental, the entire history of Western civilization, freedom. That and democracy that they talk about, including the founding father, fathers of the United States of America. So this, this we have uh, every right uh, to criticize, particularly when Muslims are the victim. Uh, in the United States, from what I gather, almost without exception, all organizations are suspect. All Muslim organizations are suspect, including the very moderate, decent ones. And this is, to my mind, unacceptable and shocking coming from a country that, that, that considers the rule of law as something paramount and having an independent judiciary. Period. Let us now move on. And this is where the problem begins. Look at the, 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 the Muslim countries. Uh, the level of corruption, leaders squandering billions, and what, and what is um, the excuse given? Um, the entire blame goes to the West. I, I can't understand how is it that the West is blamed when leaders uh, and their children and their cronies abscond and squander billions of dollars from public funds. Uh, every time we talk about democracy, human rights and freedom, they say, well, this is echoing President Bush inaugural speech as president. Why is it the Muslims need to be so apologetic and defensive? Why is it the issue of freedom, human dignity, human rights is not a Muslim issue and a Muslim uh, part of the Muslim struggle? Why is it that we are so apologetic when it comes to rampant and endemic corruption in our societies? Still, we claim to be Muslims who respect uh, uh, Islamic ideas.